Today we're gonna be comparing the newly released AK-74U from DLC5 Zombies Chronicles to the AK-74U from Black Ops 2 Zombies and that to the Black Ops 1 Zombies, just like we did compare the M1911 yesterday. And you guys seem to enjoy that video, which is brilliant, and I have to say this, this is also going to be a good one. And I feel like making this into a weekly series and comparing guns once every week, and if you guys wanna see any guns, let me know in the comments and I will feature your comments in the next episode if I take your suggestion but really quickly we have outsider 26 who is our new homie if you're watching I really do appreciate it my man if you also happen to be new on the channel make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments below so I can feature you in the next video but hey let's get this bad boy started now if you know me I like to swim in memes and today we're not just gonna be comparing the looks but also the sound and even the pack punch version from every single black ops game and here's the addition we're also gonna be comparing the double tap work basically uh, uh, when we have double tap we're gonna actually compare the sound and how it sounds and everything like that and after you finish watching this video let me know what version you like better do you like the AK-74U from Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 but starting from Black Ops 1 the AK-74U was a wild buy in Kino Der Toten in Kino Der Toten remaster it's VMP that replaced it I wish we had the AK-74U as a wall gun it would diversify the map and it will make it feel like more of the original remaster if you got what I'm saying but in the original Kino Der Toten, it's a wall buy that costs 1200 points and it comes with 20 ammo in the mag and 160 ammo in reserve and it also comes with the beautiful iron sights now I'm gonna play the sound of the gun when it's unpapped and then the pack-a-punch version and I will be right back so stay tuned and has gears like those in his head. Yeah! And I didn't think this could get any more fun! Man, I gotta say, the reloading sound was probably the best ever in Black Ops 1 Zombies. For mostly all the weapons, when you pack a punch it, you'll get that red dot side with a cool ass looking reticle. And of course you would get the bump in ammo, and now you got 40 ammo in the mag and 280 in reserve. The pack punch camo is nice, but of course the textures weren't the greatest back then. Of course Black Ops is a 2010 game, I believe. And if you get double tap in Black Ops 1, it was like rapid fire, and it would sound like this. To kill with. Why is this stuff so damn chewy? There's a lot more pew sound, which is definitely something I love. But moving over to Black Ops 2 Zombies, the AK-74U was again a wall gun, but in transit. I'm not sure in what other maps this was a wall buy, but I know I'm familiar with the AK-74U wall buy in transit. It was around the power area, and again, it would cost 1200 points, comes with the same amount of ammo compared to Black Ops 1. Now things were definitely enhanced, the reloading sound was almost the same compared to Black Ops 1, shooting was a little fat. like shooting sound was a little fat if you get what I'm saying and it made it sound like it's gonna do more damage and I guess that was with all of the Black Ops 2 Zombies weapons. I, I really feel like all the guns sound really kinda fat and buffed and everything like that. The gun was identical compared to the Black Ops 1 version but looked better in graphics for sure and when you pack a punch this the camo was straight fire and even the reticle the sharpness was there. I will play the sound of the unpat version then the pack punch version and then I will play while having double tap 2.0 which was all about increasing damage and the rate of fire so hear it out and I will be right back so stay tuned no good comes from a storm like that
Basically everything is the same compared to the Black Ops 1 AK-74U, but it was really enhanced. The pack punch camo textures were really good looking. The only difference was that there was a lot less pack punch pew sound, of course, when it's pap. But moving over to the Black Ops 3 version, the gun is now in the box of all the DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles maps, and the box costs 950 points, and if you get lucky, you will get it out in a couple of tries. Now, I really love this thing. The gun looks super, super good, and there were a lot of good changes made but I wish you would get them for example the laser side and the the red dot side when you would pack a punch if you get what I'm saying but basically instead of having a clip of 20 now you get 30 ammo in the mag and 240 ammo in reserve which is really really good and of course now the gun also comes in with the laser side and red dot side I, I wish you would get them when you pap it like I said earlier but there's no new reticle it's just the red dot side plain and simple which is all right I, I can live with it but when you pap it you get 50 ammo in the mag instead of 40 and you would get 400 ammo in reserve as well the pack punch camo is really cool and the gun sound is definitely enhanced from the black ops 1 version i really love the pack punch pew sound on this one though i think it's great but the reloading sound is eh, it's not the greatest it sounds like you are reloading a bb gun i'm not gonna lie but hey i will let you hear the sounds and everything and i will also have black ops 2 version right after that and then the black ops 1 version right after that as well so you get a better idea and and uh, basically this is gonna be a comparison for the sounds and I'll be right back after that and we're gonna be discussing the final damn things. Stuff so damn chewy. No good comes from a storm like that. Top and has gears like those in his head. Yeah, and I didn't think this could get any more fun. Alright, so I guess there's no surprise, I really love the ammo capacity in the Black Ops 3 version, and I'm assuming you do too. The gun looks and feel really superior, but the reloading sound is bad in my opinion. I prefer the Black Ops 1 and the Black Ops 2 version in that regard. I love the laser side, but wish you had iron sights to begin with, if you get what I'm saying. And when you pap it, you would get the red dot side. But all in all, I'm super happy that they brought this thing back. Let me know what version you like better in the comments below. Check out some other videos by clicking the end screen right now. If you miss any of them, subscribe if you happen to be new and hit the like button if you did enjoy this video and I'll catch you very freaking soon.